project sustainability is one of the most critical challenges for all national and international development agencies. Here in Kenya, billions of shillings have been spent in communities to enhance their livelihoods. In the semi-arid county of Kajado, the Kenya Climate Smart Agriculture Project that is jointly funded by the Government of Kenya and the World Bank drilled a borehole in Olontulugum area that provides water for livestock as well as irrigation use. Majority of the beneficiaries come from the indigenous Maasai community. Olon Tulugum Boahol is absolutely the lifeblood of this community. It has greatly improved their livelihoods and increased agricultural and livestock production. Initially, life here was very difficult. The nearest source of water was River Nelumbe, which is seasonal and dry most times of the year. <laughs> So, I got project. Communities through the respective CIGs that were formed have also been able to do some integrated farming and so far uh, various CIGs have managed to cultivate, uh, grow and sell a assortment of crops like tomatoes, vegetables of various sorts and they have been able to make money and also to diversify their sources of livelihoods. Especially during this long drought period that we have been under, uh, going through and we, we are still going through, these farms have also been able to feed the few livestock that were left behind. And uh, that one has helped them a lot as far as food security is concerned. This was a new belt in production of tomato. Um, and also for pasture, uh, because as you all know, due to issues of climate change, uh, the drought has always hit uh, the pastoralist communities, and therefore production of pasture um, was going to become um, a lifeline towards uh, the pastoral activity. Um, we had also expected to do 200 uh, fruit trees um, from that project. To ensure they never go back to the dark and dry past, the community has taken up the responsibility of taking care of their treasured borehole. Bylaws were drafted by the Project Management Committee and each beneficiary is required to pay a monthly fee that goes towards the operations and maintenance of the project. There is also a monthly charge of 30 shillings per cow and 10 shillings for sheep and goats. Tunatoa mia moja kwa mwezi. Sasa hiyo mia iwe na tusimamia mwezi mzima ukiisha tunalipa tena. Sasa tulipo kaa, tukaona hii pesa vile, vile mradu unaendelea tu vizuri, tukaona unaendelea vizuri. Tukasema hii pesa ilipoanza kupanda panda, tukasema tutakaa nae kwa nyumba. Tukasema hii pesa lazima tutafuta mahali pa kuiweka. Tukafungua account. Kitu ya kwanza, tukasema wacha tuwajiri watu ambayo watakuwa wanachunga hii mali. Usiko na mchana. So hapa saa hii, tuko na, mtu, tuko na watu wawili ambayo wanachunga hii project usiko na mchana. Na huyo mtu tunamlipa. Na ukipatikana uki umefunja pipe kama hii. Ukipatikana uki umefunja pipe. Ama umepasua, umekuji umepasua. Ama mali zako simekuja simefanya waribifu. 
tutakulipisha there was was one time the borehole was not working because of the breakdown of the pump so the the community had to to pump in some money they called us and then told them they, we told them as we have already done the project that we have we have already added the, the the project to you so you have to do something and they had some money in their bank and they were able to give about 8000 um there is also continuous monitoring and evaluation from our departments the water departments the agriculture departments uh, to ensure that uh, things are done the right way um, and lastly uh, we have linked them to other uh, partners and government uh, institutions um, so that support can continue uh, going towards uh, that community the availability of clean water at Olon Tulugum Bahol is sustainably increasing agricultural and livestock production. Pastoralists now sell their livestock for a higher price at the Ilbisil livestock market. They don't have to trek for long distances to look for water. It is nearby. And once now they are able to have good body condition so that if they are ready for the market, then they will be sold at a better price, higher prices than before when they used to trek and they, they used to get emaciated and sometimes in the market they fetch very low prices. Women are at the center of KSAP efforts to promote sustainable agriculture, reduce hunger, and improve rural livelihoods. Currently, the women at Olontulugum are feeding their families with fresh, nutritious vegetables and making money. Kwanza tuliyeka nyanya, tukatoa, sahi tukaeka kabeji, spinach, na skuma, kabeji tukatoa. Sasa tukaona hii mradi ya mboga inatusaidia sana. Sasa tukawa mapato yetu sio mabaya na tupea nini nguvu ya kulipa maji. Like the tomatoes they also transport them and sell them to the open air market also in Bisil and uh, the nearby market here which is Ngatu. The Kaisa project is bringing water closer to communities and enhancing their resilience to climate change. Even though the funding for Olontulugum Bwahol was temporary, the community has embraced the project and its sustainability is almost a sure bet. Currently, another project is ongoing at the foot of Eremit Hills in Ewaso Kedongwad. Just like Olontulugum, the Eremit Spring Protection Project will provide water for generations to come. <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs>